World War II Solitaire board game channel here uh, back with another playthrough video. And guess what? Today we're gonna be playing Scream Aim Fire, uh, designed by J. Uh, J. Kirkpatrick, who also has a great uh, YouTube um, page, uh, YouTube channel, which you can find the link to in the description of this video. Uh, in this uh, playthrough video I'm briefly gonna go through the rules, uh, basically I'll explain them as we go. So this is not gonna be a video where you can just watch the video to learn the game. I'd recommend you to uh, first watch, uh, sorry, first read the rules. Uh, and if you wanna go uh, through the rules more than I do, uh, Jay has several good uh, videos on how to play this game. But we are briefly gonna go through the rules. Anyway, since this is my first playthrough video uh, of Scream Aim Fire, we are gonna play the first scenario, which is called A Day Out in the Countryside. Uh, and before we get into the specific scenario setup, we're gonna talk about the setup of the game. So, first of all, the game will tell you which map uh, you'll use, uh, the scenario will tell you that. And in the first scenario we use the first map, we can see right up here in the left upper hand corner it says map 1. Uh, so you lay your ma map out and then I recommend you to have 5 cups, 1 uh, for your infantry uh, hit shits, uh, that's C-H-I-T. Uh, <laughs> And uh, these are going to tell you how much morale you're getting from killing off German infantry. And then you want to have a cup with your tank hit um, uh, C-H-I-T-S. And then you want to have uh, one cup for the tank damage ones. I'm going to call them counters from now on. That's easier. Okay, so then you, you want to have one cup for those. And then you simply want to have one cup for the German infantry, because you're going to be drawing them a lot. And one cup for the German veterans. Uh, other than that, you are going to want to put up your deck of action cards. And shuffle them up. Have them close at hand. And your cover cards. You're going to be using them also quite a lot. Uh, back here I have my deck of reserve cards. And that's for the German uh, reserves coming in, so hopefully you're not going to be using that, because that's going to be devastating. But in some games you will, so have them shuffled, there's just four of those cards, have them shuffled and ready. Uh, and then um, on the side here, you can't really see it, I don't want to fudge the camera because I got it perfectly aligned, but I have my uh, alert counters, and the alert counters on the back side have the panicked uh, or, or the panic side. So have them nearby as well as your supply uh, supply counters and the supply counters have the no ammo uh, side on the back. So that's what you want to have near them. Um, I have some, um, what do you call them, some markers just because there are some it can be a little bit tricky sometimes to tell what units have been used and so on. So I use them just to make it a little bit more clear, especially when I'm making this video for you guys to clearly see uh, which units have been activated and so on. And then you want to have uh, at least five dice if you're playing with the op uh, optional rule, uh, which will might give you six dice in case you're outnumbered. You want to have six dice. And then I actually have an extra set of dice, uh, and that's because when I activate my unit, I like to, for example, uh, we're gonna go through how this works. So basically you, you will roll your dice to see uh, what kind of orders you will give, but then you need to save those dice to remember what orders you have left to give. And then, you know, I found myself like rolling for the orders, and then I actually used the dice to roll for an attack, and I was like, wait. What orders did I have? So that's why I have a second set of dice. Okay guys, and then you have your uh, game turn marker. Obviously that's gonna go on one. You have your morale score, and that's gonna go on zero. Uh, you have your German reserve, and that's gonna go on zero. And then uh, I'll show you here quickly a picture of uh, scenario one, uh, the American units and the German units, you can see right here. And, um, 
these are the units that we're gonna set up on the game. So you can see the German unit uh, guys, they only have an MG42 and a Panzer IV. I have uh, three infantry, three veterans, one mortar, one lat lieutenant, and one uh, tank. And then briefly, just before we get started playing, uh, I want to tell you about these counters. Uh, they have um, they have different kind of values. So. Uh, you can see, I'm going to give you a new picture here, but we, you can see that they have different numbers on the counter, yeah? So, the number that you see here now that uh, I'll try to circle that in red, uh, that's, the no uh, that's the dice roll that you need to hit this uh, infantryman or squad of infantry. So, this specific counter needs four to be hit. Then the number one, that's the ID number, and you will try to pair up the Germans. So, for example, if you draw, uh, if you uh, draw a German infantry counter with the ID number one, he will be going after this one. Then uh, you have the three, and that's a range, that's a firing range. So this unit can fire for three hexes. And then uh, the last number, the four there in the corner, that's uh, his movement value. So he can move. Uh, for four movement points, not for um, not for um, hexes, but for four movement points. And movement cost in clear terrain, that's going to be one. So he could move for four hexes in clear terrain. But moving into woods, uh, that's a movement cost of two. And moving into buildings, that's a movement cost of three. And if you want to move up hills, uh, it's going to be one uh, extra movement point for climbing. And then if you start on a road, we don't have any roads in this specific scenario, but if you start uh, or if you have your entire turn on a road, you will have one plus movement points. And that means basically you can go for five hexes instead of four. So that's that's about it. That's, uh, that's uh, about how deep I'm going to go into the rules. Now we're going to start playing. And as I'm playing, I am going to discuss the rules with you. And of course, as usual, if you have any questions at all, just let me know. I will try to answer, answer them, answer them uh, as best as I can. Okay, so let's start setting up this scenario. So the Germans have uh, two Panzer IVs. And we see here that there are two... I guess you call those silhouettes of Panzer IVs. So that's where we have to put them. We have no choice. And then we have an MG42. And we have a German silhouette there for the MG42. So that's where we're going to put the MG42. Uh, one last rule thing. Uh, we have MG42s. We have uh, mortars. Uh, we have snipers. Those units can never move, so that's why they don't have, they only have a range, they don't have a movement point value because they can never move, they stay uh, deployed. And then we have our M4 tanks, uh, and we can see that there are three possible places to put our tanks, and I'm gonna go ahead and put one here and one here. And then it says in the rules that the first lieutenant has to start over here in the blue hex. And we're free to place our infantry and veterans uh, wherever we want here in the second row. The veterans are a little bit better because they get plus one to all their die rolling and they are harder to hit. So I'm going to go ahead and pair up uh, <clears throat> one veteran with the lieutenant. And then I'm just going to keep the veterans down here. I think actually I'm going to put... Yeah, I'm going to put two of them here. So there's a stacking limit. You can have up to two, uh, two infantry units in one. Um, let's see. You can have up to two infantry units in one hex. So now we're all set up. And uh, I'll quickly show you the turn sequence here. There is uh, one turn uh, consists of nine phases. So we have the American turn and the German turn. Uh, and on the American turn, we have four phases, as you can see here. We have uh, enemy spotted check, uh, we have order phase, uh, activate units, and reserves check. And then here on the German turn, uh, you can see that we have adjust status, uh, German infantry, uh, German MG42, uh, German tanks, and surprise reinforcements. So uh, nine phases in each turn, and uh, as you play, you are quickly going to learn how to uh, how to do this turn. 
So for our first turn, uh, the first phase is going to be enemy spotted check. And you simply roll a d6 whenever there is uh, less than five uh, German infantry units on the map. So this can be a little bit confusing. I don't like when uh, when this happened in other games as well. Uh, many games I've played. I don't like when they uh, when they name them infantry. They should name them riflemen or something else because it can get confusing reading the rules. So when when the rules say infantry units, it doesn't specify just the infantry, but the MG42s, the veterans and the infantry. So when the Germans have less than five of MG42s, uh, veterans and infantry uh, squads, uh, then we do the enemy spotted check. And basically we roll a d6 and it's gonna bring in more Germans to the game. And uh, you'll find uh, in on page number two in the rules you will find um, you will find uh, the, the enemy spotted check uh, chart. So I'm gonna bring it up right here for you guys to see. So we roll a d6 and a 5 is pretty bad for us as you can see because that means we're gonna get 4 infantry and 3 German veterans. So I have a cup here for uh, my infantry and we draw 4 and 3 veterans. So the way this works now is we have a reinforcements um, reinforcements hex for the Germans and that's the red one so it's right here on top of this hill and there are numbers here which I can guarantee you that you cannot see these numbers because I barely with my eyes very close to this map can see them because the numbers are very light red and they kind of mix in with the hill but uh, here we have a one a two three four five six and an X so we're just gonna roll to see where these gonna end up so the first one is gonna end up on location number five next one location number two Oh man, how did I do that? Never done that before. Can I fix this? Yep. <laughs> it's gonna be in the bloopers. Okay, uh, number four. And last infantry on number three. Let's see. Yeah, that's number three. Okay, so we go with the veterans and we have a number one. Wow, that's really even. Would have been fun if I rolled the six now. Uh, roll the four and uh, let's see, four is, you can barely see, so four is here. So there, there we go. And remember you can stack up to two and if I would have rolled another four, I would have put it on the X. But I rolled a three, so he's gonna go here. So that's it for our first uh, phase of the turn, which is enemy spotted check. Remember, you will only do it if there's less than five uh, MG42 infantry or veteran units. Right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're good uh, for next turn, that is. Uh, all right, so now we do our order phase, and that just means we're gonna roll our 5d6. Okay, so the way this works now is, I don't know if you have watched my previous videos on Panzer Dice or on uh, USS Laffy, because this works exactly the same. Uh, depending on what dice now, that's gonna change what kind of orders I can give. So I'm gonna pop up a picture for you again, uh, and you can see now what kind of orders I can give. So for example, with a uh, roll of one, I would now be able to do uh, a medic and I would be able to bring one of my infantrymen from panicked down to alert. Uh, with two ones I could have uh, done an assault and that's basically if you're adjacent to an enemy tank or an enemy uh, infantry unit you can assault by rolling 4d6 and if you roll 14 or higher you uh, kill that enemy. Uh, with a roll of two, I could have done either a move or a fire with uh, an infantry unit. Uh, on a roll of three, I could move and fire with an infantry unit. With a roll of four, I could use my mortar unit. And the mortar uh, <clears throat> has to have line of sight. He has no range. He can fire everywhere. 
He has to have line of sight to his enemy, uh, but the lieutenant can spot for him. So if the lieutenant has line of sight, then the mortar is going to be able to hit. And basically you roll a d6, if you roll 3 or higher, you're sighted in and that means you're ready to attack. And then you roll 2d6 and uh, the, the, the enemy you're attacking doesn't have any cover and if you roll uh, double sixes uh, you're also going to be able to hit two enemies at once uh, okay and if you roll a five you're going to get uh, a tank uh, unit uh, or, or you're going to get to command a tank unit to either move uh, fire at another tank or fire he at an 80 gun or infantry and uh, last but not least, if you get, uh, or actually not last, if you get a 6, you will get to do a covering fire, which is a little bit, uh, the rule is a little bit confusing to me, but basically uh, one unit gets to fire and the other unit gets to move up to two hexes, but you cannot do that if there is no uh, uh, enemy in range to fire upon. But you can still ignore to fire, so for example if there was a German in range, I can ignore to fire at him and still move to hexes with the other unit that I'm uh, adjacent to, but uh, well anyway that's the way it is. Uh, that's covering fire and uh, I haven't used that order, but we might do so. And then the last one is uh, two sixes and that's gonna give us sniper fire or spotting. And sniper fire is uh, has its own rules, the sniper can... Uh, shoot on six uh, he has the um, sight of six or he can spot which will give a, a penalty uh, or actually it's gonna give uh, a positive effect when I fire on that spotted unit with my other units it's gonna give me a plus one to my die rolls so that's that's basically the order so you can see right here now that we have uh, a one which would be a medic two three which is uh, move and fire a four, which doesn't do anything because I need two of them to do a mortar, uh, mortar fire, and a six, which is um, covering fire. And I can't use that either since I don't have any line of sight to anyone. So something good here is that you can actually use one of these dies and change them. So you can change uh, any of them, just one of them, uh, by one. So for example, the one I could change only to a two, the 6 to a 5, the 3 to a 2 or a 4, and the 4 to a 3 or a 5. Okay, I told you I wasn't going to do any rules, but I can't help myself. But anyway, the 6, I'm going to change that until, uh, into a 5, okay? Uh, so we're going to go <clears throat> with a tank order on that one. So first of all, the 1 is wasted, so we'll put that over here. That's not going to be helping us. The 4 is also wasted, but we have a 3 and 1 5. So the 5 I'm going to go ahead and use for this tank and the tanks, your tanks, can move 2 hexes or fire. So I'm moving 2 hexes over here and you should actually, uh, there's a, I'm going to show you up close, there is the front side of these counters which is in color and then the back side which is grayed out. But it's, it can be kind of hard to tell I think, so I like to just put my action dice or order dice on this unit <clears throat> to remember that I've used it. And since this unit cannot fire and move at the same time, he's just gonna stay put. Also, uh, all the tanks except the Tigers have a fire five in firing range. So one, two, three, four, five. So he's not gonna be able to fire on this uh, Panzer four in quite a while. Uh, and then we have two threes and we're gonna use that to get our uh, units moving down here. So first we're gonna use the first lieutenant that's grouped with the veterans and they're moving one, two, three, four. And next one is gonna be one of these veterans. He's moving one, two, three, four as well. So that is it for the third phase, which is activate units. Uh, there is a fourth uh, phase, which is reserves check. And reserves check you will roll 1d6, if you get a 6 you will get an infantry unit spawning here on the blue hex. But uh, the reserves check will not work, uh, you will not do it until for turn number 3. I've been babbling so much now that I'm uh, you know, having trouble speaking. Okay, so now we go over to the German turn. And in phase 5 you adjust status. You remove panicked 
from units which are not close to tanks, you remove out of ammo and so on, but there's nothing about um, of that going on right now, so I will not go into detail because I've been babbling enough. So we're gonna go ahead now and start activating our um, infantry. Uh, and that's the way you do, you activate your infantry and your veterans first, and then your MG42s and last the tanks. And the way I like to do it is I go from left and down. So I will start with this one, then that one, that one, that one, that one, okay? And you just, you're just gonna pick a action card and I'm gonna show you these cards for the first turn so you get what they mean. So the first one, um, okay, so first of all, they can be either, let's see, they can be either calm, alert, or they can panic. Uh, they're calm right now because they don't have any counters on them, but if they were to shoot or if someone were to shoot at them, they would become alert. They can also come, become alert for other reasons. Uh, if I were to get close with my tank, they would panic. Within two hexes, uh, they will panic. So depending on what status they have, that's going to change their uh, order from this card. So let's see here. They're calm right now. Move up to one hex, fire if in range, change to alert if unit fired. Uh, but this unit um, will not fire because he's not in range. We can see he has a 7 here, and that was I was talking about earlier. Uh, he has a 7 over here, so he will go for unit number 7. seven. But there's no 7 out uh, American on the map, so he's simply gonna go uh, to the closest US infantry. And the closest US infantry is this group of veterans. So he's moving one hex, and then I'm going to go ahead and put a white uh, marker on him to remember I've used him. So next is going to be these veterans. And we check the card. Call, move up to two hexes, change to alert. So we go ahead and move him. Uh, he has number four, and we don't have number four. We have one, two, and three. So he's also going to uh, move up in that village, and remember change to alert next infantry and we have the action card move up to one hex fire if in range change to alert if unit fired but uh, there's nothing to fire on he's also number seven he's gonna move over here and then we have the next one and it's the same move up to one hex fire if in range Change to alert if unit fired. So he's moving down here. And we're giving him a marker. Next one. Calm. No action. So this guy do uh, no action at all. But there's a guy in the same hex. And calm. Move up to two hexes. Change to alert. And he's number three. And we actually have a number three. Number three is over here. So I'm going to show you that. Uh, so uh, they are linked meaning they both have the ID number three so this German will always go after this American squad uh, let's see he was here so uh, move up to two hexes change to alert so one and two and we put one of these on him and then the last infantry squad calm no action so the no action card looks like this. No action. We can see the Dirlewanger edition. And about the AI. Uh, <clears throat> I know that the designer Jay, he, this, the rules for this game were originally for a mini game. Uh, for, for, you know, this where you paint and make your minis, miniatures. And you can tell because this game is very similar to Airfix Battles, which is also a war game like you know you can tell the rules are designed for miniature gaming and there's nothing wrong with that just it's very similar so if you like airfix battles you are gonna like this game very much uh, anyway uh, that's our uh, german infantry we go to phase 7 german mg42 and that's that guy but he doesn't have he has a six in firing range but he have no uh, line of fire because line of sight is blocked by the uh, buildings and by the forest so uh, we go to the tanks and the tanks are simple they will always go after my us tanks when my us tanks are dead they will go after my infantry 
uh, they will either fire or they will move one hex. So uh, they have the same, same firing range as my M4 tanks, which is five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they can fire, but they will move closer. And so will this guy. And that, my friends, uh, is uh, the, uh, almost the end. Before uh, the end, we will do the same thing that we did, which is the reserves check. But it's called surprise reinforcements instead. And we roll a d6, and on a roll of six, we're either gonna get a special uh, veteran group spawning here behind our enemy lines, which will try to capture our lieutenant, or we will get an 80 gun over here. And we're gonna roll a four, so we're good. And that, my friends, is the end of turn one of Scream, Aim, Fire, the first scenario. So we now go to turn number two and if you don't remember it i'm gonna show you uh, one last time here we have the turn sequence we have the american turn and the german turn and in the uh, american turn here we can see that enemy spotted check is the first thing we do but again remember we don't do it if we have more than uh, five sorry if we have five or more of these infantry units which we have uh, I, I did use this one right i think so uh, anyway uh, we're gonna go ahead now uh, to our order phase, but before we do that, we're gonna remove these, which were our reminders. Uh, and I mean, you can see, for example, uh, here, this veteran, once you use it, you should turn it to the gray side, right? But then you turn an alert marker on him, so it's kind of hard. <clears throat> because then you have to constantly turn these around and remove them to see which unit has been used. So I highly uh, recommend using those, some kind of markers for it. Okay, so we go now to our order phase and we hope for a good roll. I hope a roll of five at least because I want to engage my tanks. See, I can barely see what I got. Well, it's not a very bad roll, <clears throat> because the, remember, we can change one of the dice with one value, so we change a 4 into a 5. So the only wasted one is going to be the 1, which is, we'll just put that away. Okay, so my tank, I'm going to go activate this tank, and he's going to fire on this tank, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the way uh, you fire, you're going to use these two cups when you're firing on tanks. The first one is uh, the tank hits, so this one can be a miss, it can be a hit, we'll see. Yeah, okay, so this is a hit, and I'll show you how it uh, looks like. This is a, uh, has a crosshair, so it can either have a crosser, it can have two crosshairs, uh, or it could be a miss. It could also be, there's one, uh, let's see if I can find it, there's one rare one uh, which is red and that's only for the Germans, it's, it's good for you too because it basically means you hit but if the Germans get that one it means you die, you can't save yourself. <clears throat> okay, so we have a hit, <clears throat> now we need to see if uh, the result of the hit, it can bounce, it can blow them up or maybe their crew will be able to bail out. Oh yeah, destroyed. So we destroyed that Panzer IV and we gained 10 morale. Or morale. So I put just put those back in the in the whatever and we gained 10 morale and remove this and I'm going to go ahead and save this because for every uh, German unit you destroy uh, or for every other, you will gain one uh, supply marker, which can help you if you get out of ammo with any of your units. So I'm just going to save it uh, here on map number one. I'm going to stack up the German casualties. So that's our first unit, uh, which we were given, uh, given order to. So next we're going to give order to, uh, let's see, these two guys. Let's see where I want to put them. So remember we have uh, four movement points, uh, one movement uh, cost for clear terrain, uh, two uh, to enter woods, and three to enter buildings. So we are going to go one, two adjacent to this building, and uh, next time we're going to hopefully be able to enter it. This guy is also moving over there. 
See, do I want him over there? Okay, I want to do like this instead. Nope, I don't. Sorry. Okay, that's the way I want to do it. And then I have one last unit to move. And I'm going to go ahead and put this unit here in the forest. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I don't want to get into the range of the MG42. Okay, so that is my moves and my uh, actions for this turn. And. We're going now to a reserves check. Nope, sorry, that's in turn three. So we go actually to the German uh, turn. And we keep drawing action cards for the units that are first to the left. So uh, first one is Calm, no action. And now we have one that is Alert, which is uh, these uh, veterans down here. And we see now on the action card, can we focus? Uh, hit the dirt, fire at plus one on die roll. Okay, so we can't do that right now because I don't have any line of sight to the enemy. But So we will go to the second paragraph, which is move up to one hex, fire if in range. So that is what we're going to do with that alert unit. And again, this is a lot like airfix battles. You are going to have to help them out. Move one hex. Okay, so... Uh, moving closer to this target, I could move either that way or that way. And I think the forest is the way to go because that's going to give me better cover. Uh, but again, you're going to have to um, have to play it your best. And he doesn't have any range to fire because it's blocked because of this building, so he can't fire at me. Okay, next infantry unit. Uh, calm, no action. The veterans. Calm, move up to one hex, fire if in range, change to alert if unit fired. Okay, so this uh, veteran has the lieutenant marker on him, so he's gonna go after the lieutenant. Let's see, uh, he will move this way. And then we have this infantry unit. Call, move up to two hexes, change to alert. And remember, he's number three, so he's going after that guy. So one, two. And then we change him to alert and put a marker on him. And next guy, move, uh, move up to two hexes, change to alert. 14, do we have, yep, we have 14 over here, so one, two. And then we have this guy, last one, calm, no action. So he's not going to do any action. The MD42 is not going to do anything, he has no line of sight. The tank up here is going to move one hex. So now one, two, three, four, five. Next turn, he's gonna have fire rune range uh, to my uh, M4 tank. And now we're gonna go ahead and roll for surprise uh, reinforcements, uh, which is a roll of six. But we rolled the one, so we're safe. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of these markers, and we're gonna go uh, for our third turn of the game. So in this scenario, uh, I need to gain 40 morale and I need to hold the objective for at least one turn with 40 morale. So I only have 10 right now, so I need to start killing because killing is the, is the way you get morale. Uh, so let's hope that the dice are good to me. You don't want to have a bunch of sixes in this scenario, but that's usually what you get. Okay, so we can change one of these. Uh, I was hoping to get at least a 4, a 5 or a 6, so I could use this tank to engage their last tank, but that's not going to happen. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and change... Let's see what we want to do. Okay, I'm going to change one of the twos uh, for a 3. There we go. So the ones are unfortunately, they're gonna be uh, wasted. Uh, I could use them um, to assault, but I don't have any unit which are adjacent to the one. So the two and the two threes are gonna be used. And let's see, I'm gonna use the two on this number 14. He's gonna move up. One, two, three, four. And then the three I'm gonna use on this uh, here, Lieutenant. He is going to move into this building for free uh, movement points. And then he's actually going to fire 
on this veteran unit. So the veteran unit has, uh, he, he needs five uh, to be able to hit him. And then we are gonna draw a cover card now. Uh, you can be in uh, clear cover or heavy cover. So in clear cover, you're just in clear terrain. In heavy cover, you're either in uh, a building or in a forest. So let's see. Uh, he's in, so you will look at this cover card. And if he would have been in a clear hex, he would get plus one. But now he's, since he's in cover, he's going to get hard cover plus two. And this is going to keep changing. It can be zero, it can be a bunker, so you can't even fire. Uh, and that's the way it's going to keep surprising you. But now they have a plus two. So this five now needs a six to be able to hit him. Sorry, a seven to hit him. Luckily, the first lieutenant give a plus one to everyone firing. Uh, that is in the squad he's in or adjacent to it and the veterans themselves have a plus one because they're veterans so if I roll a six that would be an eight so basically what I need to roll now is a five five or higher and I roll a six that's very cool so this veteran unit is destroyed so I stack it up here with that passive 4, and that means I kill two units I get a supply marker so I'm gonna go ahead and put that next to these guys uh, and, and you can use it when you need it uh, and what I do now is remove this alert and I'm gonna go ahead to have your cup for uh, for killing infantry and you will mix it up and draw one randomly and I, I tend to draw, uh, draw this one a lot the NE means you don't gain any morale for the kill unfortunately uh, and then I have one more free and I am going to go ahead and uh, let's see what I want to do. I'm, I'm thinking about if I should try to get, uh, take on the MG42, but he's, he has heavy cover, so that's going to be a hard kill. <clears throat> but I think actually I'm going to go ahead and move one, two, three. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and fire on this unit right here. Let's see. Okay, I can't fire on that unit, but I can fire on that unit. So this unit is firing on the veterans over here. So we will again draw a cover card. And here we see now they are in a clear, in a clear hex. And in a clear hex they get light cover plus one. So I need, uh, with the veterans they have a plus one. I need a six to kill him. But with the veterans I uh, only need a five again. So five or six and he's, he's a gone. Oh, that was close. I rolled a four, so unfortunately no hit, but I did my best. Uh, and that is uh, the end. Uh, it's not the end of the turn, because since this is turn number three, I will now get to roll for uh, reserves. And a roll of three, I need a six to get the reserves. And that is the end of the American turn. We now start with the German turn. So adjust uh, status. We have no status to adjust. Uh, German infantry. We start with this one up here. Uh, alert. Assault if unit is in range. Move up to two hexes, change to calm. So he's not in range for assault, so he's gonna do the second paragraph, which is move up to three hexes, one, two, three, and change to calm. And to change, we just remove the alert marker. Uh, and we put uh, one of these on him. Next one is for this infantry here. Calm. Move up to two hexes, change to alert. So we're gonna go ahead and move uh, closer to uh, to my units and change to alert and then we have the veterans uh, call move up to one hex fire if in range but he's not in range unfortunately unfortunately for him and infantry over here call move up to one hex fire if in range and he's actually gonna be in range so he will fire, uh, and he's going to go ahead and fire on my veterans. Uh, and the veterans, need uh, he needs a 5 to hit them. You can see that uh, value there. And he has no cover, unfortunately. And I don't get to draw, uh, draw any cover cards. Oof. And he rolled a 5. So my veterans take a hit. And when they take a hit, they don't take damage. They just become alert. On the second hit, they will become panicked, uh, and also on panic, they can't do, uh, they can't shoot, move, or anything. And then on the third hit, they are dead. But now, for now, they're just on alert. 
Uh, so for German units, when they take uh, when they take hit, sorry, when they fire, they always become alert. And when Germans are fired upon, they always become alert. So this guy right here, which I fired upon uh, last turn, should have become alert. I forgot to do that, but it's, it's okay because we haven't drawn the action card for him yet. So we have run out of action cards, so we need to shuffle our action card deck. And now we draw one for that veteran squad that we try to take out. Hit the dirt, fire at plus one uh, on die roll. And yep, for him to hit, the center of his hex has to be able to uh, go in a straight line to the hex he's moving at, uh, sorry, aiming at without, uh, you know, being blocked. But it's being blocked by this one. So we will do the second paragraph. Move up to one hex, fire if in range. So he's moving up here, and then he's actually going to go ahead and fire. And let's see, he, is, he needs... Uh, he is a veteran as well, so he also has a plus one modifier to his roll. So he needs a four or higher to hit my squad. And he rolls a three. Wow, that's lucky for me. Okay, so last infantry, calm, no action. We do nothing. And then we have the MG42, he doesn't have line of fire anywhere. And last but not least, we have the Panzer IV. And the Panzer IV is going to shoot now because he's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, within 5 hexes. So we do the same thing we did for uh, when I shot. Uh, we have our tank hit uh, counters. We're going to draw one of those. And it's a... Ah, it's a miss. Very good. So I'm going to show you how the miss looks. It looks like that. And it's very sweet when you get it for your troops. But it's awful when you get it when you're shooting. And that means uh, it's the end of, uh, of their moving phase. And we now do a roll for surprise reinforcements. And I can't see what it is. Ah, a free. Okay, so no German surprise reinforcements. Okay, so I think it's going pretty decent. We have taken down two troops, but... Uh, I wish we had more uh, morale because we are getting close to the objective now. Uh, the enemy unit, uh, we have one, two, three, four, five. So if we take down one more of these guys, uh, we're going to have to do uh, another enemy spotted check. Anyway, that's the end of the turn. We go now to turn number four. So we change our game turn marker and we go ahead and roll for orders. So come on, give me a 5 or a 6 or a 4. Okay, that's good. Pretty decent. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and change the 6 into a 5. The 4 is wasted. The 1 might not be wasted. Maybe I could do some covering fire somewhere. Let's see. Doesn't look like it. Let's see. Maybe we'll see. This can move or fire. Uh, I mean, I could use him and fire and then move away with this guy because he can move to hex. Okay, so I, I could actually use that. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna go ahead and start with the tank. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, the covering fire is a six. Okay, so my bad. So the one is wasted. Okay, so we have the five anyway. We're going to start with our tank and we're going to fire at the Panzer four. And it's a crosshair, so we hit. Let's hope it doesn't bounce. Come on. Oh, bailout. Okay, so the bailout basically means the tank uh, wasn't destroyed, it got damaged, the crew uh, got bailed out. So I only gained 5 morale instead of the 10 for completely destroying the tank. But we got rid of the tank, so that is good news. Okay, my first lieutenant here and the veterans are going to go ahead and fire upon this unit. And it's an infantry uh, squad. So the infantry squad, uh, we draw an action a cover card for it. And they are in cover hex, so they have hard cover plus two. So I need to roll a six to hit this guy since they are infantry. The, the base hit number is four. Uh, okay. <clears throat> uh, I roll a three and I have 
plus two because I'm the tenant and I have uh, veterans. Uh, but that's that turns into a five. But remember, I needed a six. So unfortunately, that's no good. And then for the second uh, order or the last order, let's see what I want to do. I could fire with these guys. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to fire with these veterans. And I'm going to go ahead and fire on these veterans. So we draw a cover card. Uh, clear hex, no cover. And here we see the bunkers. So this is a good card if you're firing at units in a clear hex. But if you fire at units in a cover hex, it's horrible because you're in a bunker and you can't even fire. So your order is wasted. But anyway, uh, so this is a veteran bright. Uh, so... They would need a 5 to hit, but since they are veterans, they only need a 4. And since they are adjacent to the first lieutenant, they only need a 3. So we have a really high chance now of, of being able to hit this veteran squad. And we roll a 4, so we have successfully been able to eliminate these German veterans. So we put him here in our squad of killed units, and we gain, a, since he's our 4th, we gain another supply marker. Uh, the way you become, by the way, out of ammo is if you roll a 1, you become out of ammo that way with your infantry. And now we need to uh, draw one of these, and I'm gonna shake him up real good, because I've been getting those damn zero morale counters for far too long. You see, man, um, the last game, I think, uh, there's not many of these, and the last game, I think I draw like six or seven of them in a row. I actually lost on this scenario of the killing 12 German units. I lost two units, and just because of these. So uh, I, that's maybe the only part of the game that I'm not very happy about. I think there should be a decided amount of morale that you're going to gain and lose, uh, because... Well, I have bad luck. That's because that's the only reason because I have bad luck. If if I would have drawn the good ones, I wouldn't think that. Okay, guys. So we do our uh, reserves check now, and nothing. So we go over now to the German turn, um, and there are no uh, no things to uh, adjust status wise. Uh, so we're gonna keep drawing action cards for the infantry. The first one move up to two hexes and change to alert. So he's coming for my uh, number three. Uh, the veterans, calm, no action. Oh, that would actually have been this guy. Uh, so we're gonna go for this guy instead. Uh, alert, assault if unit is in range. Okay, so he's definitely in range. So the way assault works, we're gonna see that now, is you take 4d6 and you roll them, and you need to roll 14 or higher to be able to successfully kill all of the units you're assaulting. Uh, but modifiers still count, uh, so these guys are in a building, so they're gonna get a minus two on the roll. Let's see, the roll is 10, 14, so they would have uh, successfully killed my uh, lieutenant, and the veterans, but uh, they only they, they fail because I am in the building. Uh, another thing to note is uh, if the lieutenant, the group where the lieutenant is, ever take fire, not assault, but fire, you have to roll a d6 uh, extra after the battle, and on a roll of one, uh, the lieutenant is killed. Okay, so now we go to the uh, lieutenant killer here, the veterans, calm, no action. And this uh, infantry unit here. Alert. Assault if unit is in range. Nope. Move up to three hexes, change to calm. And he's going after seven. There's no seven, so he's he's, he's gonna move into the woods here, and he's gonna change to calm. And then we have the MG42. No, nope. we have this unit, sorry, the infantry. Calm, no action. And the MG42 is not going to do anything since uh, there, he doesn't have line of sight anywhere. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and roll now for a uh, surprise um, reinforcements, but it's a 2, so no German surprise reinforcements. And that's the end of turn number 4. So we go now to turn number 5.
Let's see if it can stay there. It's on a mountain. We have uh, now actually an uh, enemy spotted check, I think. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we're still good. We, uh, we don't have uh, five or less German units on the map. So if we would have had one less, we would have to do the spotted check. Okay, so that means we are going to go ahead and roll our d6. Our order of face. And, okay. Not good. Not terrible. So, now we're going to go ahead and change the 4 to a 5. Because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bum rush these guys with my tanks. Tanks are incredibly powerful when there are no nothing against them because they're gonna make all of the infantry, enemy infantry panic uh, and again really powerful so I'm using this one first bam bam so he's going up there and all of the infantry within two hexes will panic okay so that's my, that's my infantry okay, where is he, where is they? he's standing there it must have been right okay so maybe I should move over here then okay I'll move over there and this guy moves down here, so this guy becomes panicked now. Uh, and then I have a free, so I'm gonna go ahead and fire with this first lieutenant guy here. He's gonna fire with his veterans on this infantry unit. So we draw a cover card, and oof, uh, cover hex bunker, no fire. So unfortunately, I don't get to fire. I hate that card for obvious reasons. So that's the end of my order phase. Um, oh, actually, I had I had double ones. I had two ones. So what I could do if I want to, I could attack uh, with my veterans here uh, and try to uh, assault this infantry squad. The problem is that they are in the forest, so I would get a minus two. Uh, to my role and then I will be exposed to the NG42 in the next turn and they will definitely fire so I think I'm actually gonna chill right outside here you know outside of the forest and just wait for my beautiful Sherman tanks to show up man stay where you are okay so that's it uh, reserves check can I get a roll of six nope uh, and we do our go to the next which is the German turn so okay now we have the adjust status <clears throat> and you would turn the panic to alert if it wasn't for the fact uh, that we have a German here within two hexes so we will go to uh, German infantry so the first one so panic so he's panicking now no action change to calm if not within two hexes of American tank so basically this guy don't do anything and that is the powerfulness of these tanks bringing him in you know close to the enemy spawn point or the objectives and they're just gonna you know shock uh, the German infantry so no action we go now to this guy which is alert fire if in range and he's definitely within range so he's gonna go ahead and fire he needs a 5 plus to hit uh, but since these guys are in a building he needs a 2 so the only thing that's gonna hit me is a 6 a 6 will always hit and look at that guys that's quite horrible so I, I did get a 6 so that means I'm hit I have to put one of these alert markers on me and remember guys we have a lieutenant here so now we have to roll again and on a roll of one, the lieutenant is dead. Oh, okay, we got a six again, so that's good. Only time I'm happy to see a six. And we go to the next infantry, calm, move up to one hex, fire if in range, change to alert if unit fired. So I'm gonna go ahead and move down here. And I'm gonna go ahead and fire upon these veterans. They need a five or higher to hit them. And they rolled a 5. So these veterans are now panicking. And since these uh, Germans fired, they also go to alert. Then we have this one heading for the lieutenant. Call, move up to one hex, fire if in range, uh, change to alert if unit fired. Let's see which way would be closer. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. 
I think he's actually gonna move this direction. Makes more sense to me. And then we have this last infantry call move up to two hexes, change of alert. And number 13, yeah, I think actually, we, yeah, we have a number 13 over here, so he's moving towards him. And change of alert was one of the things. And the MG42 still can't fire, so unfortunately for him, he's not gonna be able to help his buddies out. Surprise so reinforcements, we roll a three, that's a no go for Germans. So that, my friends, is the end of turn number five. We go now to turn number six. We're close to the objective. I think we can take it soon, but we're still having trouble racking up morale. So I'm, I'm still uh, hoping that I'm going to be able to bring my tanks up uh, closer. Ugh. Man, you, you don't want sixes in this game, but you get them a lot. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and change one of them uh, into, a f into a five. So then we have two sixes, one three, one two. Uh, okay, let's see what I want to do here, guys. So I definitely want to bring my tank up. See which one I should bring. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and bring this tank up. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and do a see fire and move with this guy so he's moving one two uh, and firing on that guy so we draw a cover card uh, we get the bunker again so it's a wasted fire uh, we have a two for this guy so he's gonna go ahead and fire at that unit again we draw a cover card we have hard cover plus two so these are the veterans with the first lieutenant and they're firing at an infantry uh, unit, which has four plus two, so they need to roll a six. And they roll a six, so good for us, we take out this infantryman. And that means we get to draw one of these. And you see? You see what I'm talking about? I just keep drawing these. And as long as you keep drawing these, you're not going to win the scenario. Uh, okay, uh, then we have we had two sixes, I think, and that's why you should use your second uh, set of dice because you're gonna get confused about what you had and what you didn't have. But this is good because then we can use the fire and move. Um, so let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna use this one covering fire, so he's gonna shoot at this panicked guy while this unit moves up. Uh, over here, Let's see, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I'll put one of them on him as well. So he fires now on the panicked German. He we have is in the woods. We draw cover card. Cover hex uh, has light cover plus one. So he is four. So we need a five or higher to hit him. And we roll a two, unfortunately. So that's the end of our turn. And uh, let's see, we do our, before is the RN, actually we do our reserves check. And we get a six, so we will get an infantry joining us over here on the blue hex. And now it's the enemy's turn. And now we adjust status. So we have a panicked German over here. He will go back to alert, since the tank is now further than two hexes away. And we will draw action cards. So alert, fire if in range. And he is going to fire on unit number three, which is conveniently right here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And he needs a four or higher to hit. He rolls a two. So this guy, unfortunately, uh, does not hit. Unfortunately for them, that is. And we put, <laughs> dropped it. We put one of them over here. And then we have, let's see this lieutenant over here lieutenant killer calm move up to one hex fire if in range so he's gonna move up there and then he's gonna fire on my lieutenant my lieutenant is in a building uh, he has a five uh, oh sorry the veterans which they are in uh, so they need a seven to be hit but he has a positive die roll modified by one so he will hit on the six but they will always hit on the six so five they miss but he fired on a unit containing the first lieutenant so we will roll again to see if the first lieutenant gets killed Ooh, that was close thank you lord 
And then we put the alert marker on him since he fired. We draw an action card now for uh, this unit here. Hit the dirt uh, on alert. Uh, fire at plus one on die roll. So they're going to go ahead and fire on my veterans here, which are, uh, they need a five to hit them. But now they only need a four. Mm. What do you get? Oh yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Okay, last unit here to... Um, I'm getting so excited now that I'm forgetting to um, do the things I need to do. Alert. Assault assault if unit is in range, which is not. Move up to three hexes, change to calm. Uh, and actually before I do that, uh, on this card we see there's an out of ammo marker. And I forgot that because again I'm getting excited. And what you do with that is you have these supply markers and on the back side you have the out of ammo. And out of ammo is now going to be put upon this German because he's out of ammo after firing on them and I'm actually also gonna put a red marker uh, to remember uh, because this is gonna stay for one turn so next German turn I will remove the red one and the turn after that I will turn the actual marker Okay, so lots of markers but you're gonna get it okay so um, yeah then we have this one uh, assault if units is in range, uh, or move up to three hexes and change uh, change to calm. And he's paired with my lieutenant group, so he will move all the way into the forest here and then change to calm. Okay, so I think that's it for the Germans, uh, because this guy can't uh, cannot fire. So we remove our markers here. There we go, and we will roll for surprise reinforcements. Five, so we're good. Uh, and then it's our turn again, so we are now in turn number seven. And uh, you know the deal, if there is less than five infantry, and I think there is one, or less than six, two, three, four. So there are a total of five of them, but it says uh, <clears throat> enemy spotted only if five or less German units on the map. So there are five or less. So we roll, oh, a six. That's the, that's the worst number we could have gotten. And what it is, uh, again, it's gonna be on page number two, uh, five German infantry, four German veterans. So five of these guys, like we didn't have enough Germans, but well, we need, uh, we need the target practice because we need 40 morale. So let's see. Uh, so we will roll our d6, number two. And again, it's hard to see these numbers. I think that's two, yep. Yeah. Number three, number three, number one, number three. So it goes six into the x. Number three also goes into the x. Uh, number five should be, let's see, should be here. Number six and number three, so it will go to the lowest one uh, with, with space. So that's how it goes. So we go now to uh, order phase. We will roll our d6 and pray to get something nice. So yeah. Okay, so I am happy now, and the only reason why I'm happy is because I can order my tanks. I'm going to turn the 4 into a 5. <clears throat> so I have two tanks which can move in now. So I'm moving in with this tank first. 1, 2. So we have a lot of units panicking now. Panic. 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 And then I move in with this guy. 1, 2. So we have more uh, German units panicking now. Let's see here. Panic. And panic. There we go. Lots of panicking going on. And we have an auto of ammo too. Okay, let's see. Uh, then we have a free, uh, the six is gonna be wasted. When I move the map, sorry about that. Six is gonna be wasted. Uh, we have a one, which is gonna be very well 
use now because we're gonna save the this guy or hopefully save him so <clears throat> what we do now is we bring the first aid to him and then we're gonna go ahead and roll uh, a d6 so let's see that's that's the one and now we're gonna bring in this uh, we can roll with the six which was uh, wasted anyway and basically now we have a 50% chance of healing this guy to uh, alert instead of panic. We roll a d6, we need a 4, 5 or 6. Yes, so we roll a 5, so we remove the first aid. And we change the panic to alert. Eh, too many counters, too much stuff going on right here. Okay, then we have the 3. Let's see, I think I want to take out that Okay, so we are going to go ahead and uh, Use uh, the lieutenants here with the veterans to fire at these veterans um, Or perhaps at the infantry guy here I'll choose the veterans, okay, the cover card So they only have light cover, the cover hex, light cover, plus one So they need, uh, let's see, they need a six uh, for me to hit them, but since I have a plus two with the veterans and the lieutenant, I only need a roll of four or higher. Ah, I just can't get those guys, unfortunately. Okay, my friends, so that is uh, the end for my uh, actions, and I'm gonna go ahead and roll now for uh, ref reserves. No reserves. And that means uh, it is the enemy's turn, so this is gonna be a just. Uh, status and the panic would be adjusted if it weren't for the fact that we have tanks I am gonna remove this red counter because next uh, turn this one will not be out of ammo and I will uh, use action card now so uh, for this one alert fire if in range uh, and he's definitely within range and he's gonna fire on this guy right here so he needs a four or higher to hit and he rolls a six so that's a hit so he will go to alert. And then we have, let's see, should be this one, which is panicked. Panic, no action, change to calm, if not within two hexes of an American tank. So, no action. There's gonna be a lot of no action for those panicked guys. So we shuffle our action cards here keep going let's see next one should be that guy which is panicked over here panic no action change of calm if not uh, within two hexes of a tank and then this guy which is out of ammo uh, I think actually he will do nothing I'm gonna have to quickly check yeah so he can still uh, he can still uh, assault and move just not fire uh, and he is panicking Panic, fire at minus one on die roll, uh, but he can't do that uh, since he is uh, out of ammo. So no action for him either. And that's because he's out of ammo. Then we have this guy who's panicked. Panic, fire at minus one uh, on die roll, but see, does he have line of sight? No, he has no line of sight anywhere. Next trap. Uh, also fire at minus one but he can't do that and we have this guy calm no action next one um, calm move up to one hex fire if in range change alert if fired so he will move one hex and he's gonna go ahead and move this way then we have the infantry under him uh, calm move up to two hexes He's gonna go see which way will be closest because he's still gonna have to move down here. I think one, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So if they're not linked to a unit, they're gonna move towards the closest unit. So he's gonna move this way. Then we have more infantry down here. Call move up to two hexes, change to alert. And he's actually with uh, ID 1, so he will move closer to that unit. He's gonna move 1-1, one, one. he'll move up there. If you're gonna math mathematically count the hexes every time, you know, it's gonna take forever, so you just kinda do it like you think it's gonna, you know, the correct way. 
Next guy, uh, move up to two hexes, change alert. One, two. Okay, I ran out of uh, white counters now, so I'll just put dice on them. Next one, uh, move up to one hex, uh, fire if in range. So this one has a number two on it, so he's gonna go after this guy. So he's moving one over there, and that's it uh, this turn for the Germans. Whoops. There we go, and we roll a d6 to see if they get that reinforcements, but they don't. So we go now to turn number eight. You can see we're kind of running out of turns here. We only have a few turns left now. One, two, three, four, five turns actually. And then we will have failed. Let's see, that's I'm gonna re-roll that one. Turns into a four. Okay, so that's interesting because now we have a four and a four is for the mortar. And then we have a one and a six. I'm gonna turn one of the sixes into a five and move up closer with this tank. This tank is gonna move up here uh, and it's gonna go ahead and turn this enemy here to panicking. Uh, okay, so then I have, let's see, the mortar. The six and the one are, oh actually I can use this one. The one is wasted. The six I can use uh, covering fire again on this group. They're gonna again try to take down this damn lieutenant here. Uh, and they need, we need to draw a cover card. So hard cover plus two. Uh, so I need to roll a seven to hit him, but I have plus two with my rolls. So uh, five is gonna be good enough. And we're all a six. So finally we take care of that veterans uh, hunting for my lieutenant. So we're gonna go ahead now and draw one of these. And you know the deal, it's gonna be a yellow one. Uh, I actually drew two of them and one of them was a yellow one. You see, I only draw the yellow one every damn time. And if you go and count them, there is like, I think there's four yellow ones. One, two, three. There we have a 10, uh, morale 10, morale 10. There's a yellow one. Uh, morale red, morale 10, five, five, sorry, five, five. So there's a total of 12 of them, and four are yellow. So it's a 33% chance to draw a yellow. And I draw them every time. And I need, I still need 40 morales. So I need, uh, 30, uh, let's see, I have 15. So I have, need 25 more morale to win this. Okay, anyway, it is what it is. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and fire with my mortar. So my mortar is gonna go ahead and target the MG42. Uh, and actually I can't do that because I don't have um, line of sight. So I'm gonna have to use my first lieutenant's line of sight. And the first lieutenant is gonna fire uh, on this infantry unit here, uh, or the mortar is gonna fire uh, as the first lieutenant is calling in the coordinates. And the way that works is, uh, first you go ahead and take a die, and you need to roll uh, uh, better than three, or uh, sorry, better than two. So three, four, five, or six, and that's just to gain the sights. So a three is good here. A uh, one and a two man would mean I could not attack. Uh, and then after you do that, you're gonna go ahead and roll 2d6 and take the best result and you don't draw a cover card. So for this guy right here, we only need a four, even though he's in cover. And we get a four and a six. So this guy is dead. Uh, and also we don't have to um, draw one of those um, damage infantry to see how much morale we get because we always get five. So we're up to 20 now. We only need 20 more morale. Uh, one thing to note, if I would have gotten two sixes, I could have hurt the MG42 as well. So that's cool. But anyway, I didn't. And that's the way it is sometimes. And we will roll for our reserves check. And we get a five, so it's a no-go. And then we go now to the German turn. And we go to adjust. Oops, we have a white one. Adjust, and we're going to go ahead now and remove the out of ammo uh, from that guy. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and draw some action cards again. We draw one for him first, uh, and let's see what it says. 
uh, alert fire if in range and he is firing on number three which is over here so he's definitely within range so he needs a four or higher to hit but he rolls a two so he miss then we have let's see this guy over here is panicked but we're still gonna draw an action card for him panic move up to two hexes so he's gonna go ahead and move straight into the forest here and uh, next turn we're, we're gonna remove the panic marker and then we have this guy who's also panicked uh, panic fire at minus one on die roll but he doesn't have anything to fire on so he's just gonna stay put next guy who's also panicked no action change your column if not within two hexes but he is of an american tank that is this guy is not panicking and he's gonna head for my mortars and move up let's see uh, move up to one hex fire if in range and this guy is also gonna go ahead for my mortars move up to one hex he doesn't really have a good way to yo know, he we can stack units so he's gonna go ahead and move up there and i'm gonna go ahead and put some of these up because i am gonna forget which units i moved and then we have okay we start with this one that's uh down there he's also calm no action and then the number two who's gonna head for that one who's also calm move up to two hexes change to alert so one two well he wasn't in that one so one to he's gonna go ahead and, and share that and we need to man i'm making a mess out of my cardex here so we're gonna go ahead now and reshuffle our action cards whoops okay so i need to make 20 morale and I have four more turns, so I think I should be able to do this, guys, but things are not really going my way, I gotta say. Okay, so this guy call move up to one hex, fire if in range, which he is not. And then this guy call move up to one hex, and he's going for no one, so he's just gonna go down there. And we roll for uh, surprise reinforcements. We get surprise reinforcements. Okay, so surprise reinforcements, you will roll a d6. On a one to three, it's gonna be a veteran unit trying to engage um, with, um, it's gonna go ahead and try and engage um, your lieutenant. It's gonna try to capture him. It's gonna work in a special way. There are rules for this. And he will spawn in this blue box. But if this blue box is occupied, uh, by a uh, infantry or sorry by an American unit you're gonna go with the other result which is a roll of four to six it's gonna bring out an AT gun so that is bad news for us my friend that is bad news for us and we go now to turn number nine okay so let's see what we can do Uh, 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 okay, we're gonna go ahead and change the six into a five. There we go. So this is not a very bad roll. It's a very, quite a good roll. And we're gonna go ahead and gamble a little bit now because we have to. So first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and use this veteran squad. Move it all the way up here and fire on this infantry squad so we draw a cover card and he's in a clear hex he has light cover so plus one so uh, i would need a five to hit him but since they they are veterans and have a plus one i only need a four and we're gonna remove these before we actually go on Because I need to take down that 80 gun. That's my only mission right now. Uh, let's see. They were standing here. Yeah, okay. So he's going to go ahead now and fire. I need a roll of... Man, I keep changing these. 
that's the problem okay I have I need the second dice set now uh, and let's see I'm moving the map so I will roll and hope for four or higher come on yes okay so I get a four so I successfully take down that infantry and let's see if I'll get the yellow one again no I get a uh, red one so I get five morale I have 25 now I need 15 more morale so uh, for the next one I'm gonna go ahead and use my tank and move up the hill and fire at the AT gun and I'm gonna fire a, a high explosive uh, oh actually I'm gonna s okay I have to move up because he's on a hill so I can't shoot at him but I can't move and shoot at the same turn so unfortunately I'm gonna have to stay there okay that's that's the way it is uh, and let's see then we have these guys so what are we gonna do okay we're gonna fire at the infantry here first I'll fire with uh, my veteran squad here so they will fire uh, he's in cover and it's a bunker <laughs> so uh, doesn't let us fire next guy he's gonna try to fire and hardcover plus two and it's uh, infantry so we need a six but we have a plus one so a five or higher is gonna hit but we roll a two so unfortunately we miss last uh, guy firing is gonna be my infantryman over here firing at this infantryman with our cover card he has a plus one so uh, we need a five or higher <laughs> and we roll a one so that means this guy actually goes out of ammo uh, but we can directly use one of our supplies but I'm gonna wait a little bit until I really need that so uh, didn't do very much good this turn unfortunately we are gonna go ahead and roll to see if we get some reinforcements but nope we don't uh, cover cards I'm gonna go ahead and reshuffle those before continuing I'm having a hard time thinking that I'm gonna be able to uh, win this turn uh, or sorry win this game uh, but we'll see okay so adjust status so we have no uh, panic them one okay we should actually panic these guys now since they have a tank within two hexes and that's it so we will start drawing action card this one who is alert fire if in range um, okay so he's gonna fire on this guy he needs a four or higher and he rolls a two lucky me so we put a marker on him he has fired and then we have this guy who's panicked panic uh, fire as uh, minus one on die roll so he will actually get to fire and he's gonna fire on my on my lieutenant I'm gonna say or actually I think he's gonna go ahead and fire on my veterans here who are in the clear so they're gonna be easier to hit he needs a six to hit so he uh, fails and the reason why he needs a six is because he had a penalty due to being panicked and let's see we have an infantry unit here which is panicked uh, no action actually we th that would be that one okay calm move up to two hexes change your alert so he's gonna go ahead and move over here and he's becoming alert next one heading for my mortar and uh, move up to one hex so he's gonna go that way he doesn't wanna uh, fight with the tank okay so next one is the panicked one no action and another panicked one uh, panic fire at minus one but he doesn't have any unit he can fire on and then we have a calm infantry unit there no action on calm then we have this guy heading for the mortar uh, panic fire at minus one uh, can't and then we have this guy over here who's also panicked panic fire at minus one and he also cannot fire at anyone no line of sight and then we have the MG and MG can't fire because it doesn't have line of s Ooh, it does have line of sight to my veterans no why did I move there okay so he will fire and he's gonna need a, a five uh, to hit my veterans five or higher and he rolls a four thank you and then unfortunately we have the AT gun 
and the AT gun is now going to fire on my M4. And that's going to work just like uh, it works uh, firing with uh, another tank. So that's the wrong cup. We're going to need a red cup. And really hope to God now that they miss, but no, they get a two crosshairs. So with the two crosshair, with the one crosshair, I get to try a cover save using my front armor. So a roll of five or higher, I should show you this. Uh, on two crosshairs, let's see, on one crosshair, I get to use my front cover as a save. So I roll a dice, on a, if I get five or six, I'm saved. With two crosshairs, I get to use the side armor, so I need a roll of six to effectively uh, save myself. So I'm pretty screwed now, guys. If I don't roll a six. Oh! <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, so I rolled a six, so I'm safe. And that's it for Germans, for Herman the German. Okay, so that means we will do one last thing with the Germans before we end this turn, and that is rolling for uh, surprise reinforcements and actually we don't even have to do that because that is occupied that is occupied the reinforcement hexes are occupied they can't get any uh, surprise reinforcements so that means we go now to turn 10 out of 12. so let's see uh, we're gonna go ahead and order face and hope really hope now that we can get some good rolls but uh, we keep getting those sixes we don't need those we really don't Okay, so let's see what we want to do. Uh, I'm going to turn one of them into a five. So we'll have both our tanks doing something good at least. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and save. Okay, I can do a cover fire with that one, I guess. Okay, so we'll start with the tanks. First of all... Um, this tank is going to fire at the AT gun. Uh, let's see. And we're going to go ahead and do so with um, with two of our dice. So, uh, or actually we don't use the dice, right? We use, uh, use like uh, firing at a... No, 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 we use the dice, sorry. And we need a four to hit. So uh, we use the high explosive. We get to roll two dice. We don't draw uh, any... Cover card for the AT guns. And roll a three and a two, of course. Okay, that's no fun, guys. So my tank miss, unfortunately. Uh, that's the way it goes. And we're gonna go ahead and use. Let's see. I'm gonna use this guy, and I'm gonna use the cover fire again. So he's gonna fire, and he's gonna move. So he's moving back this way and then he's firing uh, and he's firing he needs let's see cover card hard cover plus two so we need a six but I got plus two because it's lieutenant and so on so I need a roll of four or higher I need a, bl <laughs> a roll of bloody two okay so this guy is gonna go ahead and f he's been used right since he moved so I can't use him uh, I can use this tank though, and that tank is going to fire at the MG42. Uh, and the MG42, when you're firing with tanks, and you draw the cover cards, you only look at the clear hex. You never, even if they're in cover, you ignore that. So plus one. So I fire with the HE, I fire two dice. And I roll a six, so the MG is gone, finally. Uh, and uh, I get five morale for that so I still need 10 morale okay so then I will move on to using my uh, inventory over here which is gonna go ahead and fire at this infantry and this infantry is in the forest so we draw a cover card and it's a light cover this time so I need a five or higher to hit and I roll a one, so he's also out of ammo now. So I got two guys over there who are out of ammo. Man, I'm so close. I feel it. I'm so close to winning, but I'm not going to win because of those damn Germans. And reserves check. And I roll a 
what a free so no reserves okay so that's it for my turn unfortunately we move on now to the germans uh, and let's see do we change any nope we don't so action cards uh, alert fire if in range yes sir he is within range and he's not in cover so he only needs a uh, four or higher to hit but he's also free thank you because we have two more turns we can still make it if god is on our side uh, let's see this guy alert hit the dirt fire at uh, he's going for number two let's see alert move after one to fire if in range uh, so he's going after this guy so I wonder how, what you would do, which paragraph you would do here. Hit the dirt fire at plus one on die roll or move up to one hex fire if in range. Because he, he's not in range with his with the target he's going after. But I'm guessing he's going to fire at the mortar. So we're actually going to go ahead now and fire at the mortar. So the mortar needs a four to hit but he's in the forest. So he needs a roll of five or higher. He rolls a one. And then we have the German down here which is panicking. Panic, fire at minus one. He is gonna need a six to hit my guys down there. He rolls a five. I have a lieutenant there. Uh, on a one he would have died, but he rolled a three. And we have this guy. Uh, call, move up to two X's, change to alert. All right. And then we have this lad, which is panicking. Panic, no action. Next one, panicking, no action. Next one, uh, call, move up to one hex. And then we have to reshuffle our uh, action cards. Whoops. And we have a panicking group again. Uh, panic, fire at, but he doesn't have anyone to fire at. Last one panicking, uh, no action. And then we have the AT gun again. Unfortunately, we do. And he's gonna fire at the tank. And it, again, it's two, uh, two crosshairs. So I need to roll a six or higher. And I roll a five. And the only way to be saved now is if it's a bounce. Ooh, yes! Oh, dear lord, look, it bounced. Bounced right off. Oh, man. Okay. So I'm happy again, as you can tell. Uh, it's, the, it's the end turn, and we go now to turn 11. Only two turns remaining. And we're gonna go ahead and remove these um, markers. So if I can kill one German now, just one, and get 10 morale. Uh, I'd be able to uh, to win this uh, if, if I were to move there. But we'll see what happens. Okay. Not terribly good rolls, to be honest. But I can work with that. I am going to go ahead and change one of the these to a two. And I think pretty, this is pretty much going to be it this turn. If I can make it this turn, um, I think I can, I can win. So what we're going to do is this guy here is gonna go ahead and move into the objective the four is wasted unfortunately and let's see where do we have our easiest targets it should be this guy and these guys firing I guess since uh, the tanks get uh, they ignore cover because I still need to get 10 morale so anyway, uh, that's the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to take these dice back or leave that. So that's my first move. I move with my veterans to the objective. I need to stay there in the end of the turn. 
Um, and I start with this tank, and he's gonna go ahead and fire at the AT guns. And it's a hit. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm I don't know why I'm doing that because what I need to do is um, is roll two d six. So it's not a hit. I need to roll two d six, and I will hit on a four or higher. And there's no cover. Okay, so this guy will fire on. This infantry right here, which is, or actually he will fire, yeah, he's gonna fire on that infantry. So you draw a cover card, and it's a clear hex, so it's light cover. So I need a five or higher to be able to hit him. Oh, come on, man. Okay, last chance. This guy, veterans and first lieutenant. Is firing at this infantry unit. Uh, we draw a cover card. He's in cover, and it's a f it's a bloody bunker. So the, f the order is wasted. Yep, yeah, I'm getting pissed off. Okay, so uh, that's the, the end. I will re uh, roll for reserves, but they won't help me. Uh, and that means it's the Germans' turn now. Okay. So we draw an action. Let's see. We're not gonna change any panics. I think they're all within two hexes of tanks. Yes. So this guy who's alert, hit the dirt, fire at plus one on uh, die roll. So he's gonna go ahead and fire, uh, and he's firing on this unit right here. So he only needs a three now to hit. And he rolls a six. So this guy is hit. He goes from alert to panicked. Uh, then we have this guy who's alert. Uh, assault if unit is in range, otherwise move up to three hexes and change to calm. Mm, one, two, three. So he's moving over here and he's calm now. Uh, so this guy, uh, same with him. And he's gonna go ahead and move one, two, three. Then we have a calm in. Uh, sorry, we have this panicking guy here. Panic, fire at minus one on die roll. So he will hit uh, this guy on a roll of six. But he rolls two. And we'll see if the lieutenant survives. And the lieutenant survives. And then we have this infantryman, which is calm, no action. Panicking. Uh, sorry, that's the wrong card. Uh, panic, move up to two hexes. He's gonna go ahead and move one as he's heading for two. Okay, so one, two. And next one, panicking, and uh, no action. Then next one, no action. Next one, no action. Okay, so now we have that AT gun again. And there's actually an infantry counter under him, so we're gonna use him first. Uh, he's panicking. Uh, panic fire at minus one. And he's standing over here, so he's actually gonna have... Um, he's gonna have line of sight to my veterans here. He needs a five to hit, but due to the negative modifier, he needs a six. Here also one, so he misses. And then we have the AT gun, finally. And the AT gun is gonna fire. <sighs> And he gets uh, he gets a miss. He gets a bloody miss. He gets a bloody miss. I missed my M4. F That's the third time now that he misses. That is just crazy. I was sure that he was going to blow him sky high. I was sure, man. And that means we go now. Okay, we will roll for uh, surprise reinforcements. But we have a six. But that doesn't matter because this... Reinforcements, uh, the only one, the blue one and the red one is occupied, so we're not going to have any AT gun or anything like that. So we go now to the last turn of the game. This is turn 12. 
Can I change things around? Can I gain those last 10 morale points into 40 and hold the objective and win this game and become happy uh, World War II uh, Solitaire Board Game Channel Dan instead of pissed off World War II Solitaire Board Game Channel Dan? Well, stay for the conclusion. Okay, so phase one enemy spot, uh, spotting check, uh, we're gonna ignore that. Um, and uh, let's see, this uh, one thing I forgot this guy who fired, he should be out of ammo. Um, he was firing, uh, sometimes I forget that. He was firing this one, hit the dirt fire at plus one, and it has the out of ammo symbol uh, showing that, trying to remember. Trying to make you remember that uh, if you fire, you have to do the out of ammo icon. Anyway, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and use. Okay, I'm gonna roll first to see. Maybe I get total shit rolls now. Uh, yeah, well, I wouldn't call them total shit rolls. That was actually pretty pretty decent. We can we can work with this. Okay, so we turn this six into a five. Okay, so we have one tank. So we'll uh, use that, of course, with R and try to take down that bloody AT gun now. We take two dice and we need four uh, to hit that AT gun. We fire AT. Man, what is this? What is this? Snake eyes. What is this, man? I, I don't understand it. He's fired at me so many times. I fired at him. Oh, okay, we gotta calm down. Uh, we have, let's see, we have this guy, uh, he's gonna go ahead and fire. So let's see, I don't wanna mix up the dice. He's gonna go ahead and, uh, 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 uh. okay, so he's firing, uh, and it's an infantry squad in cover, and it's a bunker, so it's a wasted fire. And then this guy will fire too, and it's a bunker again, so it's a wasted fire. Uh, and last chance now, last chance of the game, if I don't kill this guy now and gain uh, 10 morale, uh, the game is over. So I will use one of my supplies to make this guy uh, become... Um, he's not out of ammo anymore. So that guy is gonna go ahead and fire at this guy. And he needs a 5 or higher to hit. Sorry, I don't know yet. Let's draw the cover. Oh, he's in cover, so he needs a 6. So the only way I can win now is if this guy rolls a 6. And then I draw the 10 uh, morale. And I roll a 2. So that unfortunately is a miss. So that means uh, I've effectively lost. Uh, I don't need to go through the German part uh, in this last turn. Since I know that... To win this scenario, I need to hold this objective here in the end of the game, and I need to have 40 morale points. I only have 30 morale points. So, unfortunately for me, the game is lost. And, yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> this game pisses me the hell off, but I think that's a good thing, because if it's piss pissing you off, you know, it can also make you really happy. Like when that 80 gun missed me for three times. Uh, I was equal, equally as pissed off when I, you know, missed him. So that's almost like playing against a live opponent. So don't take my, don't take me getting pissed off as a bad thing. Anyway, guys, this is scenario one of Scream M Fire. That's one out of five scenarios. There's also a sixth scenario on uh, Board Game Geeks forum on the game page uh, file site. Uh, Jay has, uh, has uh, uploaded an unofficial uh, scenario designed by him. He's also designing a second game in the series which will cover the Pacific Front. So if you like this, uh, you might want to stay tuned for that one. And uh, yeah, if you enjoy this playthrough video, stay tuned to the channel because we are definitely going to do a scenario 2, 3, 4 and 5 as well. And perhaps 6 also. Uh, so, uh, well, uh, as I always say, thank you very much for watching. Look at the uh, description. I have a link to Jay's, the designer's uh, web, um, YouTube channel and uh, the website where you can buy this game from uh, Tiny Battle Publishing. Uh, well, as always, uh, thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe, uh, like the video, give me a comment. All of that helps out immensely. Uh, I have 100 views at least on every video, but quite few comments and so on. So please go ahead and, and help me out. Uh, okay, guys, have a good day. See you next time.